stress the term stress is basically uh, used and misused uh, like i think it is the one of the most misused word you are bound to face stress so the attempt should not be to reduce stress rather than we should teach children how to face uh, a stressful situation student doesn't know how to because parents are not very well equipped teachers are not very well equipped when it comes to understanding why there is a stress neither parents nor teachers they don't know what kind of play should be there at a specific uh, age there is a uh, phase in uh, like a student's life when the child prefers solo play means he he or she doesn't want anybody should be there while playing it is not the children who are not well equipped to face the problem it is we means parents and educators they don't know uh, that medicine is there we have to understand the developmental stages and phases of child uh, in order to provide appropriate material so that learning and teaching can become joyful the aim of the life is not happiness it is that the goal of the life should be peace peace with yourself if you try to make your child as a parent or as a teacher not to feel stress that is very harmful this is very difficult uh, like it is not that easy that because the stress the term stress is basically uh, used and misused uh, like i think it is the one of the most misused word so the problem with the idea of uh, stress in education is also uh, kind of quite misunderstood so i am not going to talk about uh, whatever is written in the book uh, but i would like to uh, highlight few things first thing is that uh, like you must have come across like all uh, all the uh, that participant i think uh, we have around 170 participants that some people say that okay stress is good other may say that it is bad and even that uh, that uh, title of this uh, two days uh, kind of uh, meeting is about this uh, students burnout and zero stress so stress cannot be zero if you are alive yeah, like you are bound to face stress so the attempt should not be to reduce stress rather than we should teach children how to face uh, a stressful situation and one of the kind of a uh, important thing which we overlook generally we uh, especially when it comes to a, a stress among students is that there there is a sh uh, shift of responsibility so parents think that whatever problem my child is going to face it is the responsibility of teacher in the school right from kindergarten to uh, like say uh, up to school uh, like plus 2 level and teachers think that the student is there in the uh, the class like say maybe 6 to 8 hours parents are not doing enough so it is a kind of uh, uh, like say tussle between kind of shifting responsibility between parents and teachers similarly even a student is at loss basically a student doesn't know how to because parents are not very well equipped teachers are not very well equipped when it comes to understanding why there is a stress what sort of mechanism should be used to uh, basically minimize the stress and even those who think that they are kind of expert in the area they are not quite well equipped so first thing is that we have to understand why is there any need to reduce the stress or to make children to face the stress and why it happens so it is not that uh, like child is not capable enough to face a stressful situation or a school is not capable to provide opportunity or kind of condition so that child can uh, face this face stress similarly for the parents so the thing is that 
when like say whether it is adult or even parents or children uh, everybody is talking about uh, that reduction of stress which is not possible the thing is that and uh, the my previous um, speaker uh, she mentioned about play no doubt play is very important as she has already mentioned i'm not going to uh, comment upon that but even neither parents nor teachers they don't know what kind of play should be there at a specific uh, age so if you if you go by a researcher or psychologist who are talking about uh, uh, different kinds of game or play at different stages uh, we we have to implement that so there is a uh, phase in uh, like a student's life when the child prefers solo play means he he or she doesn't want anybody should be there while playing then there is a uh, kind of stage when child prefers Co cooperative play or and then competitive play so just giving like say just I, uh, sanjana i am not commenting on that i am just uh, bringing uh, the the point that uh, we it is not the children who are not well equipped to face the problem it is we means parents and educators they don't know uh, that medicine is there but that medicine requires uh, that uh, that proper dose and proper timing and we are failing in that so as a as a parents as a teachers uh, as a guardians we should know that what should be given or what sort of uh, mechanism uh, we should use in order to make it more effective so i'll give just one example that if we go by uh, that psychologist that there is a like say from 0 to 2 years child will only uh, be receptive for a specific kind of information or from 2 years to say 7 years child will will be uh, more receptive to a specific kind of uh, information like i'll give one example if you try to teach a child who is less than 6 years old uh, about the concept of volume the child will not be able to understand no matter whether you are giving through game or you are giving uh, through lecture or any medium because by that time child has not developed the ability to understand concept of volume and if you are if you try to teach the child uh, irrespective of the medium of uh, of teaching uh, it will be stressful for the child so we have to understand the developmental stages and phases of child uh, in order to provide appropriate material so that learning and teaching can become joyful another thing like say uh, another point which i would like to highlight we are too much obsessed with happiness or even joy life uh, that the aim of the life is not happiness it is that the goal of the life should be peace peace with yourself so uh, there are different theories in psychology which I, I don't want to discuss that even if you if you are in a happy mo uh, mood for a longer duration it becomes stressful so life is kind of it is change huh? you are happy you are sad you are having different emotion until unless you are emo uh, experiencing different emotions whether it's adult uh, uh, or child it is not a kind of full development or full like say in order to make a person as a uh, as an individual who has kind of capabilities to face any problem he or she has to experience all sort of emotions also and he or she has to face all sort of uh, issues and uh, kind of opportunities it can be both negative and positive as well if you try to make your child uh, as, as a parent or as a teacher not to feel stress that is very harmful the uh, children should experience at least like we know that air cox dots and i don't want to go into uh, kind of academic but until unless there is a optimal level of stress performance will not be uh, kind of uh, perfect or you can say it will not be up to the point until unless child is facing medium level of stress so stress is not something which is always bad or which is all, uh, like say always good so one yeah. thing is that uh, we should know at what time what material should be provided to child uh, for 
teaching and learning. That is one point. Stress should not be treated as very bad. Uh, in certain situation, uh, stress uh, basically increases resilience. It motivates an individual. So just two things at right now, and then we'll be discussing later. Thank you. Okay.